Hello everybody, welcome back to another quick video. In this one, we're in CapCut for desktop, and I am going to show you how to color grade your footage for free. There's no plugins, there's no nothing here. I'm gonna show you how to do it for free, and I'm gonna show you using three methods. I'm gonna show you how to do it using adjustments, how to do it using curves, and then how to add in quick filters to take it over the top. To show you that I know what I'm talking about, here is the original footage here. If I just move this slider here, look at this. This is awful footage. Everything is literally the same color. It's just terrible. There's like, there's no colors in it. And then if I move the slider to the right here, well, look at that. We've got three different styles here. I've got a nice brighter version. And then you'll see here in this one here, I darkened up the, the ocean a little bit and the corners. I've got vignettes in the corner to draw your eye into the middle. And then I even did an orange and tealish type style over here on this little birdie. If I click on the bird here, this is a better piece of footage. This is the original footage. It's not very good. And then after color grading, well, look at that. We've got a nice, cool orange teal action look. I'm gonna show you how to do this for free. It'll take just a couple minutes. Let's go. All right, let's get cooking. So the first step here is there's nothing on my timeline. I'm just gonna drag and drop a piece of footage in that I want to color correct. In this case, it's this terrible footage here of these boats in the sea where everything's the same color. Okay, not a problem. The next step is I'm going to grab this same piece of footage and I'm gonna drag and drop it right on top of it. So we've got two pieces of the exact same footage lined up at the exact same time. Then I'm going to hit the eyeball on the bottom track. Now let's get cooking and start making some changes. All right, here we go, let's cook. All right, so the first step, make sure you're selected on the top video track. Then on the right side, you're gonna see video audio speed animation. We don't want any of those. What you wanna do is you either wanna click on these two arrows to get to adjustment, or if you see adjustment, just click on it. When you do that, you'll see curves, HSL, and basic. HSL is highlight and saturation lightness. But the first thing is we're gonna go on basic. And because I am basic, just kidding, I'm not that basic. We're gonna go ahead and make some very quick changes. And this is often all you need to do to get a nice quick and dirty uh, color adjustment. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the decrease the temperature part in me quite a bit. And you'll see here by just pulling this slider, we've gone ahead and added in some blue into the sky and into the ocean, kind of like what we want. Now this isn't even as blue as I'd like it to go, but there we go. We're gonna start off with this. I'm gonna put some green aqua looking into this. So I pulled the tint down. Again, depending on the type of footage that you have, you can adjust this as you see fit. And I'm just gonna increase the saturation a bit because I like bright colors because I'm a simple man. Now, as I go down here under lightness, you've got all of these different ones you can play with. I would normally increase the exposure just a little bit. I would increase the contrast a little bit, even though you will see that we are losing some of that blue. That's okay, we're gonna add that back in in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the whites down a little. Uh, let's see, something like that. Oh, no, that's not enough, something like that. And then I'm gonna play with the blacks a bit here. Uh, I'm gonna pull that down a little bit, that sounded weird. And uh, there we go, so brilliance, I'll increase it. Again, this is just me messing around with it, you know, getting it to where I like it. The one thing I do like to add in though is a vignette. So I'm gonna add in a slight vignette of about five. And what that did is it added in some shadows in the corners and that draws your eye into the video. So it kind of pulls your eyes into the middle. So that's looking okay so far. Now, this is why I have a second piece of footage underneath it in the exact same spot. Because when I turn this eyeball on and off, you'll see this is the original. This is the revised footage with the vignette and the color changes. Now I'm gonna show you a second technique to dial it in and get it to even better. All right, so the next step is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go from basic. We're gonna switch over to curves. And every guy likes curves uh, for color grading and other things. So here we go, there are four curves. And very briefly, the luma curve is brightness. Luma means luminance, which means brightness. And then there's the red, the green, and the blue. And all of these curves can be manipulated. Now for the brightness, I like the brightness of this shot, so I'm going to leave that alone. For the red curve here, and it's nice and <laughs> colored red, so you can't really get it wrong, you'll notice that when I hover the mouse over, you'll see that it allows us to add a point or add a beat. So on the line here, I'm gonna add one in the middle, somewhere around here. Now watch this, I'm just gonna pull this up, and that makes the water red. So if you're doing a Jaws movie, for example, and then if I pull it down, it adds in that nice turquoisey green color. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. I'm gonna go down to the blue. 
or actually let's go to the green one next here. Let's do the green and then I can move a point up if I want green water. And if I want some of that cool looking bluer water, for example, I'll pull it down a little bit. And again, guys, these are just up to you completely, but I'm just sort of dialing in the colors that I like and I'll add a point on the blue one. Now watch this, I pull it down, I get that drab color. But if I pull it up, we get that really cool looking blue sea. Now, again, these are totally up to you. Once you've pulled them up, you can go ahead and keep adjusting them as you see fit. I might, yeah, I like the blue sea, although I also like the green. Uh, let's go with a blue sea for this one. Okay, so there we go. We've gone ahead and added in some curves. Feel free to adjust these as you see fit. It's very subtle stuff. Now I'm going to show you how to put filters on this to dial it in and finish it up. All right, so the next step here is I'll just do a quick comparison just to show you where we've gotten so far. So again, this is the original footage. It's terrible. And now here is the revised footage. It's looking pretty good, although the sea is kind of blending a little bit in with the sky more than I'd like. So let's go ahead and do a final third step. On the top, making sure you're selected on the top footage, we're now going to go up here and go to the filters option. And under filters, we get a whole bunch of different color filters. Now I'm going to go hover on a few of them. Some of them, you know, you may get one lucky that you want here. This one's actually not too bad, Ghost. But the one that I'm looking for is down here. Let's see where it is. It is orange and blue. And obviously this is way too much, but I'm going to go ahead and drag this filter onto video track three. So it is on top of the footage. And then I'm going to just drag it out all the way across. Now you're going to be like, hey, you ruined the footage and you'd be right. But look at this up here at the right. You'll see here that under filters, we can dial this in so we can take it off completely or I can just start to move the slider a little bit here and then maybe up the intensity for the orange blue. So maybe something that might be a bit too much, something like that maybe. And then if we've got it kind of like where we want it, so we've got a bluer sea, we've got nice bright orange colors in the boats here. The sky is nice and blue. We've got a vignette. If we turn off the top two layers, we've got our original footage. Then we've got adjusted and then we've got it with a filter applied. This is pretty darn good. You can always go back in and make adjustments. So if I go back to basic and I decide that that's too blue, I can pull some blue out or I can put some blue in, tint it as I see fit. But there you go, guys. These are the three techniques you need to know to color grade inside CapCut completely for free. Thank you for watching.